please put your hands together for Mikey Dean, everybody. How are you guys doing this evening? <laughs> guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm almost more nervous for the show than any other show I've ever done. Because there's a brick wall. That's like classic stand-up. I've never gotten to stand in front of a brick wall. I am like Louie right now. This is, this is what determines it. I'll just, I'll just touch this throughout my bit and talk about my daughters and my weird sad life. That's strangely a hopeful story. <laughs> you guys, you guys uh, know that thing where anytime you're on top of like a building or anything taller, it could be a cliff, you have like this weird thought of like, oh, I hope I don't jump. <laughs> like, not like you want to jump, you're just afraid you might. <laughs> like, you're not entirely con in control of your own fucking actions. <laughs> I get that all the time. I'll see that, well, I'll see like a person on a bike, and I'll be like, oh, fuck, I hope I don't push that guy down on the floor. <laughs> I'll see like a pretty girl walking and I hope I don't like yell at her, wow, you're a sexy lady. <laughs> that would be rude. I hope I, I hope I don't do that. I'm in control. Right. But like, I, I even get that now. Like part of me is like, you'll be terrible if I just dropped the mic and went outside, left. It'd be the worst if I dropped trowel and just pooed on this tiny ant. <laughs> I won't do that. I'm in control, but there's a part of me that's afraid I might. There's a constant fear. But something I've been considering a lot lately, just all the time, I'm always asking the big questions, the philosophical questions, and the thing I've been considering is that dogs can't eat chocolate but they can eat their own poop. <laughs> if they eat chocolate, they die. <laughs> but they can eat feces. And humans are the reverse. We get to eat chocolate, we get to eat Reese's peanut butter cups, we eat half a diarrhea, <laughs> we're done. That's hard to do even. And that's how I know there's no order to the universe. Okay, do you know what humans are responsible for? We're responsible for like, Greed and deception and uh, you know, stabbing. <laughs> Dogs are responsible for silly faces and furry cuddles. <laughs> and they can't eat chocolate, there's no order to the universe. Humans do homicides and genocides in Vietnam. <laughs> we should eat the poop! <laughs> When I say Vietnam, I mean the Vietnam War, not the country. It's a beautiful country. I've been. No, I haven't. Dogs? A dog will fetch, okay? A dog saved little Timmy from the well, all right? A dog scored the winning points in the middle school basketball championship because there was no rule that said a dog can't play basketball. And they can't eat chocolate? They can't have a Milky Way? They can't take five? <laughs> we can't give them a break? Give them a break? Break them off a piece of that Kit Kat bar? There's no, there's no order to the universe. There's no rhyme or reason. How many, how many guys uh, out there in the audience tonight have gone pee before? <laughs> Guys, that crowd work should not have worked out well. <laughs> I, uh, I used a urinal earlier today, as I will when I have to urinate in public, because as Joel Martin pointed out earlier, we don't have the same rights as dogs, we can't go wherever we want. And there's something I notice that I always notice every time I use a urinal, and it's that there is always a minimum of one pube <laughs> just in the urinal. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's a tuft. It averages three to five. I've got stats. <laughs> I'll show you the Google Doc spreadsheet. <laughs> I admit. And that's, that's ridiculous. I can't figure out why it's happening. This is a huge mystery and I've got no way to solve it. I've got two theories. One, people are far more manscapingly minded than I would have ever guessed. They're just going into bathrooms with grooming scissors in their cargo pants. 
and they're just while they're there, might as well trim it up. Just <laughs> trim it up left and right, playing hair salon two on their job. <laughs> or I guess maybe there are dudes whose master and commander is so puked up every time they unzip, it's like a party popper of hair. <laughs> just like a. <laughs> gross little bathroom party, and as, as ridiculous as that second scenario is, I have to imagine that that's the case. That's ridiculous, okay? There are people whose, whose junk is like the pig pen from peanuts of pews, and I can't figure that out because all I've got is like a Charlie Brown situation, <laughs> which is the one on the top, just one little curly cue. He thinks redheads are cute too. So, lots of similarities between my dick and the uh, child brand. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of my uh, friends had a baby recently on purpose. <laughs> that's, that's cool as hell. That's beautiful. They had sex. He spooged within her and left it there on purpose for nine months and then a human being popped out. That's cool as hell. That's insane. That's how all of us got here. <laughs> if you can do, unless you're like some kind of weird clone or body snatcher. <laughs> so when I had sex and then you popped out, can you imagine if everything that came out of your body just turned into a living thing you had to take care of? Can you imagine? I sneezed on a girl's shoulder earlier. <laughs> We wiped the snot off, but what if, uh-oh, not soon enough, nine months later, a parakeet pops out? <laughs> now I gotta take care of a parakeet? I don't know how to take care of a parakeet. I don't know what parakeets eat. I can't teach it how to fly. I can't be a suitable role model for a parakeet. I'm afraid of father. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Love you guys, bye.